what's happening guys i got a neat little quick and dirty project for you today but first let me apologize for the noise in the background it is the first day of fall and it is 90 degrees and 60 percent humidity here in the greater pittsburgh area so i got the air conditioner on so i don't melt now on to the project you know the lab power supplies that we use are great they provide a nice constant current adjustable voltage source but generally they're pretty low in amps two three five amps and sometimes you know you need a little more it's like the ex-wife used to say i just need more i said honey you didn't tell me i was playing an arena or i'd have brought a bigger instrument but anyway so i'm going to show you a quick and easy way to take one of these and no it's not a laptop power supply it is an Xbox 360 power supply. And if you zoom in here, we'll take a close look and what do we see? 12 volts at 12 amps. So that will make a nice power supply for us. And it's not hard to do. The first thing that you have to do is cut its head off. Easy enough, right? Step two is get out your favorite type of wire strippers and strip off the outer insulation. Make sure you don't cut through the inner wires. And we should find eight separate wires in here along with you know the string they use to keep things taut okay so blue and red those are our enable wires we're gonna put them together blacks and yellows we're gonna put them together and that's all it's gonna take to give us a 12 amp 12 volt power supply so as they say let's get started all right before we go any further because you're gonna forget Get a piece of heat shrink that will fit over top of the outer insulation and make sure you tuck all the wires in it. That's actually too small. Need something a little, a little bigger. Tuck all the wires in it. Trust me, do this now. After all my years in the business, I can tell you, you will forget to do it later. All right, so we're gonna start with our red and our blues. Our enable wires, and we're just going to strip and tin them. Alright, red and blue are stripped and tinned. At this point, you're going to add a piece of shrink wrap. If you don't do it now, you're going to forget. So then we're going to twist them. And since they're already tinned, all we need to do put the hot iron on them and they'll be good to go so we'll let that cool down for a minute next step strip and tin our blacks and our yellows our blacks and our yellows are all stripped we're going to twist the three light colors together and tin them as a group. Okie dokies. I don't know if it's gonna stay in frame there or not. Come on, baby. You can do it. There we go. Oh, 
Oh, yeah. That's how we like it. A little bit of tin, a little bit of solder on the iron. It helps with the thermal transfer. But then just add the solder. Okie dokies. Pretty simple so far, right? All right, next we're gonna add a piece of heat shrink. And we are going to clamp our alligator clips together. I know you're sitting there, Paul, why don't you have it clamped in the third hand? Well, I, I don't know. It's Friday night. Perhaps I'm not thinking straight. There we go. Oh, nice and clamped in. Now we just add a little bit of solder. And we should be good to go. Again, I always add a little bit of solder to the iron for the thermal transfer. And do the same to the other side. Okay. Both clips are on. Pull our enable wire back. Bring that bad boy up there like that. A little bit of fire. Yes, I know this isn't the best way to do heat shrink. But, I don't have a hot air gun at home. So we make do with what we got, right? And now we should have ourselves a high current power supply. Okay. Let's hook her up and see if she works. Or if she blows up. If she works, I'm a genius. If she blows up, George Chambers told me to do it. And three, two, one. 12.33 volts. Very nice. Now we need a way to test the high current capacity, don't we? I think I've got just the thing. So, I'm sure you guys are familiar with what you see here. This is a ZVS driver, and this is a flyback transformer. And them's is some wires. Okay. There's the plug. All right, guys, so this is the last time you've heard from me. Oh, it's been fun. There's power. We got some funkiness going on with the LED on the ZVS driver. And, oh yeah. What we got going on there, friends and neighbors, is some high voltage electricity. That's the fun stuff. Woo! Oh yeah. All right. That's it. Try not to burn my house down tonight. You guys have fun. Peace.